Namaste my students. Students, in this video, I am going to discuss the types of charts and how to insert charts in MS Excel. This is the chapter 4 that I am teaching you charts in Microsoft Excel. In the first part, I have given you the introduction and as well as I have explained you the components of a chart. In this video, let me explain you about the types of charts. See, there are different types of charts you can see over in this Excel document. The first one that I am showing, this is the column chart. The column chart shows the data changes over a period of time and illustrate comparison among items. You can see comparison can be done, right? Okay, and the data changes can be shown over a period of time. Then come a line chart. This is the line chart. Line chart shows the different trend in data at equal intervals. It shows data in different styles of line varying at equal intervals. See, the data is shown in a form of a line. Okay, over here it is shown in a form of a bar and over here the line chart, the data is shown in a form of a line. Next is a pie chart. This is a pie chart. Pie chart shows one data series in the form of a comparative size of things that make up the data series to the sum of the item. The pie chart is like this way in a circle manner. It is comparing that in uh, how much marks, see the different type of subject, uh, different subject marks is being compared over here. Okay, the circle is divided into four parts and each one of the part is colored with a different color and that this color indicate the uh, particular type of subject like this one English, then this is a math, science and then SST. Over here now see bar chart. It, it shows comparison among individual item. Okay, like the SST. In a SST who have got highest marks that comparison is being done. Okay, who have got a highest marks that they are showing. Then come a area chart. This is the area chart. Area chart shows the trend of value over time or categories. This is the area chart. It takes up the area C. It takes up the area and it shows a comparison. So this way, over here you can see that the E chart. It is taking up from 0 to 50 and taking up this area. Over here, you see this area consists of the Shunil and this is of Pooja and this is of Rahul. Over here it was shown as a bar, comparison was done here as a line, but over here the area, okay, it shows the trend of value over time or categories. Now see, there are different subtypes are there, like if I go to the column, see different sub, uh, subtypes are there, over here under the line chart, subtypes, then pie chart, different subtypes, see area chart, and other chart, these are the different other charts. So now, students, let us learn how to create a chart. See now, over here, I have taken the data and now I am going to show you how to create a chart. You can create chart at two different places in the current worksheet as an or as an object in separate worksheet in the current workbook. So either you can create a chart over here or you can uh, go to the another sheet number 4 and over here also you can create a chart. But you have to select a data from here. Whatever data on which data you are creating a chart that data have to be selected. So this data you have to select. Either you can chart, create a chart and place it over here or you can place it in the another place but it have to be in the same workbook. Workbook means what? This is the entire workbook. Over here it is, see, worksheet number one, then two, then this is the three. Okay, so over here now I'll be explaining you how to create a chart. Now the method number one. First of all, you have to select the cell and then press the F11 key. See, different type of charts are appearing. Okay, this is the shortest and the easiest way of creating a chart. I think now it is clear to you, you have to press the F11 and it will automatically give you which chart over here you can see, it is automatically giving you the 
bar chart or you can this is a bar chart okay sorry this is a column chart it is automatically giving you the column chart and a new chart tab appears see this is a chart tab that is appearing this is my selected data and when i press the f11 it automatically went to the next worksheet over here it is written as chart 1 this is a new chart tab appearing and it is giving us the data in a column chart format so this is the uh, shortest and easiest way but if you want to create a chart of your choice then how will you do select the cell then go to the insert tab now select the type of chart you want see different type of charts are there okay different types of charts are there let me select the bar chart let me select this cylinder i am selecting this cylinder option this is a subtype of a bar chart i am selecting on the cylinder now see it is appearing in this format in this chart you can also change the uh, chart style from here. If you want, you can change it. You can change it. Even you can also change the chart layout also from this option. So, these are the different options that you are getting. When you have inserted a chart, you are getting this different option under the design tab. Design tab is automatically appearing design tab layout tab and format tab this three tab is automatically appearing when you are inserting a chart in the excel okay this tab is helping you to apply different changes in the tab, in the chart like see layout chart, layout tab you can give a chart title then access title then legend you can do any changes from the layout tab you can click on any one of this option and you can change it. Same way if I go to the format tab, I can select say fill option. Then different thing, I can do it for me. Same way design tab also. So you can change the chart type also. So this is the different options that you are getting. When you have selected a chart, you have inserted a chart, you are getting these three different options. This one by one we will learn how to change it. Just today I have given you the introduction. In the next video we will be explain. I will be explaining you about different things. So this had gone about how to insert a chart. So student this is the end of the video. Over here we have learned about how to insert a um, chart by using going to the insert tab from there select the chart like i have selected the bar chart and the cylinder and it is appearing same way you can also apply the area also you can select any one of it and you can apply any one of the chart you can apply see okay so the cylinder chart got changed to a area chart so this way we have to apply a chart a student go through this video and practice it this is the end of the video. Thank you. Namaste.